Before we continue this video, please check whether you have this concept and uh, check whether you need this. So first, um, do you understand why uh, price times quantity, we, find, we can find the total revenue? Do you know that when the price increase, the quantity decrease, uh, quantity demand decrease, and uh, we cannot determine the total revenue? Do you know why uh, when the supply increase, the total revenue also unknown? Do you know why when the supply decrease and with the elastic demand, the total revenue will decrease? If you understand all these questions, then just skip this video and go to the next video about the uh, go through the past paper. If not, please continue to watch this video to have a revision. Okay, the first concept is about the total revenue. That is the money that uh, the company collected from their uh, consumers. Okay, so uh, at least we know that the total revenue is the price times the quantity. So, uh, for example, if the selling price of a goods to the Apple is $5 and uh, we sold it for uh, three pieces, so the total revenue will be $15. Okay, it's very simple. But uh, the key element, the key things is that we understand the price and the quantity is two elements that are affecting the total revenue. However, their direction, if we have a price change, for example, the price of the Apple become uh, seven dollars but we know that the quantity they will have a change because it is more expensive than the people will buy less right so maybe it dropped to two so one up one down so what is the effect on the total revenue that will be a question and the company would like to understand so the key elements of uh, affecting how the total revenue change is the price elasticity of demand. Okay, so what's that? Actually, is the responsiveness of the consumer when the price change. That means when that is a change in price, okay, percentage change in price, then actually the consumer will respond. For example, we are more expensive, then consumer will buy less, right? But uh, if we talking about how this change is talking about the percentage change in quantity demand. That is the response of the consumer. So let's see in this uh, scenario how the electricity of demand will affect, okay? So if uh, we can see that the price increase, the uh, quantity increase, total revenue, it must be increased because the uh, same direction, right? So uh, if the price and the quantity decrease together, then total revenue only affected by these two elements, so it should be decreased. But uh, if we can see that the price and the quantity with a different direction, actually we don't know the answer, okay? Also, the scenario for different direction. So we do not know whether it's up or down about the total revenue. So <coughs> how do we know the answer? We need to know about the percentage change in price and the percentage change in quantity demand. Which one is more powerful? Okay, so actually that is electricity of demand. Okay, so let's go, go further for the uh, types of the electricity of demand. We go from the least response of, of the consumer. Okay, so when the price increase, then if they do not have for the perfectly inelastic demand, that means the consumer do not have any response. It's unchanged, okay? So if uh, we find that one up, one unchanged, the total revenue should be up, okay? Up, unchanged, then total revenue up. So how do we express in the, in the diagram? That will be to, uh, vertical demand curve. Then, if we try to show the price change, P1 to P2, and Q1 and Q2 will be equal. Then we can see that next to the next to the uh, price up, then this area will become the plus. This is area, there is extra area we can have after the change of the price. So, total revenue up because it has only have a plus plus for the inelastic okay so inelastic that means when the price up when the price up then the quantity down but the quantity down will be uh, smaller that means the price up will be bigger percentage change in price is bigger than the percentage change in quantity demand so total revenue will be up because there's two up one down okay so how do we express in the diagram with a 45 degree straight demand curve then because in elastic under the midpoint we put two interception point as the p1 p2 price increase and q1 q2 quantity decrease however um then we put a plus here minus here we still can see that 
the plus area. The plus area is bigger than the minus area, so the total revenue increase. Okay, then for the unitary elastic, that means the change of the price and the change the change of the uh, quantity demanded that will be equal. So the total revenue will keep unchanged. Then the question is, how do we express this in the diagram? We will try to use a curve, okay, demand curve, to show the changes. Okay, so around it is roughly a P one, P two increase, Q one, Q two decrease. Then the plus is next to the increase, the minus next to the decrease. Then you can find that the increase is most almost the same of the decrease. Okay, okay. So for the elastic demand, that means the consumer have a greater response than their uh, price change. So percentage change in price up is less than the percentage change in quantity demand drop. So we have a great change. Uh, but the quantity demand, so because it's dropped, double down. So the total revenue is down. So how do we show that in the diagram? Just a straight line, 45 degree straight uh, demand curve. Then in the, on the upper part, we find two interception points as a price level, P1, P2 is up. Then the Q1, Q2 down. Okay, then plus and minus. Then show the change of area, increase, decrease. This time you'll find that the decrease area is back, bigger than the increase area. So the total revenue decrease. Okay, we go to the perfect elastic. That means the consumer have a very sensitive about the price change. So when the price increase, what happened to the quantity, quantity demand? They will drop to zero. Okay, so the total revenue will become zero. Okay, any any numbers times zero is become zero, right? So, uh, what what can we do in the diagram? We just uh, use a horizontal demand curve. Then P one, if a P two is up to anywhere, okay, increase to anywhere. So that will be a Q one and Q two will become zero. It's drop. Okay, so the whole area here is. The minus. I okay, let's have an example. Uh, for example, the question that uh, uh, tell us that that there is a small increase, and the result is a total revenue increase. It asks us to explain with the diagram. So actually, there's a logic between them. So we have to show the logic. But how do we find that? Actually, very simple. Start with the because oh, something happened at the beginning. So that is a supply increase. When the supply increase, we know that the price will drop the quantity demand will increase, okay? So the next time you think about to find out the result, result is total revenue increase. It's increased, that means to something the increasing power is more powerful, okay? That means, let's look back to the first first step. We can see that the up is belongs to the quantity. So we can determine that uh, the quantity demand, the percentage change in quantity demand is greater than the percentage change in price. That is the definition of elastic demand. Okay, so we can determine that the, that is elastic demand. In order to uh, get the full mass, well, so what should you do? First, you should draw a diagram because you know that it's elastic demand. So draw in the upper part for the uh, S1, okay, P1, Q1. Then we have our S2 because our supply increase right so we get the second equilibrium that's p2 q2 price decrease quantity increase and remember to put it at put the plus and the minus in the area gain of a loss okay so here we have the gain area this is the loss area you can find the total rent the gain is more than the loss so the total revenue increase okay so after you check the diagram is correct, so try to uh, write down your elaboration. So first step, write down something happened and make the supply increase. Second, always talk about the price and the quantity. So price decrease, equilibrium price decrease, equilibrium quantity increase. Third, tell us that when the, when the demand is, this time we know that it's elastic according to our analyze. 
So fourth step, show the definition. Elastic demand, that means percentage change in quantity demand is greater than the percentage change in price. So last step, tell us that the total revenue increase and show the area is from P1, Q1 to P2, Q2. That's all you can get the full marks.